It was considered an invincible enemy, but Kayvon Shokat did the impossible when he developed the first molecule to block the most commonly mutated cancer gene, the oncogene KRAS. It is a scientific game changer, and he is awarded the 2023 Huerberry Prize for this discovery. It's really amazing. Kevin Shokat has shown that something that was considered impossible really can be achieved. I would say his discovery made it possible to offer targeted therapy to a large group of cancer patients with a relatively bad prognosis. Kevin's discovery gives new hope to people with one of the deadliest forms of cancer, lung cancer. Ja, ja. Har gått igenom din journal nu och sett vilken behandling som vi har givit dig. Det var ju i juli. For John Larson, who was a retired welder, it started with a couple of lumps on his neck and then persistent pain in his arm. Armen ville liksom förlamma hela höger armen. John was soon diagnosed with lung cancer, a type of cancer which is often discovered late and therefore has a poor prognosis. Och det var som att få en käftsmäll från slag i ansiktet, ja. Och sen då när han sa lungcancer rätt och det var då tänker man nu är det kört så att ja nu får man ju beställa kista eller någonting va. For a long time, cancer has been treated with chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. These treatments are tough on the body and often inadequate. But now, cancer drugs that target specific mutations in the cancer cell are bringing new hope to patients. In recent decades, it has become possible to look inside cells and locate which mutated genes and proteins are responsible for cancer. Drugs have been developed to directly attack the proteins produced from these oncogenes. But nothing has helped against the most common oncogene, KRAS. The KRAS protein is small and spherical, with no good landing pads for drugs to bind to. Everyone was looking for a way to attack mutant KRAS in human cancer, but it had become considered an impossible target. There was a great medical need, and when the driving mutation was defined, it was quite frustrating that we couldn't offer any therapy. When Kayvon starts working at the University of California in San Francisco in the early 2000s, biologists tell him about the impossible protein. But Kevon is not like them, a biologist. He is a chemist. And where the others see a biological problem, he sees a chemical opportunity. The KRAS protein has two states, on and off. In the on position, it instructs cells to grow, and when it is off, it stops this growth. It is a delicate balance. However, when mutated, it remains stuck in its on state, and the cell is forced to grow and divide out of control, generating a tumor. The idea is to create a molecule that can bind to a pocket in the protein, locking the protein in an off position. But the KRAS protein has no known pockets. Kevon chooses to attack a mutated form of the protein, KRAS G12C, which harbors an altered amino acid, a new cysteine residue. This was promising because Kevon already knows about a type of molecule that can bind to cysteine. This can be the first step towards influencing the protein. After testing hundreds of different molecules, Kevon's team succeeds with the bond. And then something unexpected happens. The bond stabilizes a nearby region that has never before been possible to study in detail, and a small pocket, a potential landing pad for drugs, can be seen. This was a game changer. Kevon is now able to design a new molecule that binds tightly to both the cysteine and the new pocket. This molecule has the amazing effect of locking the protein in its off state preventing cell division and the growth of lung cancer cells. It's a very, very cool discovery. First to find the pocket and then to design a molecule that can lock the mutant RAS into an off position. It's quite genius, actually. Kayvan's discovery of a pocket binding molecule allowed the development of a treatment for lung cancers that have the KRAS G12C mutation. This made it possible to drug the undruggable, in 2021, the first drug was approved and is currently being tested worldwide. Those with the 
worst prognosis now have a new opportunity. One of the people who are now getting to try this new drug is John. The current drug does not cure the cancer, but it slows the tumor and it does give the patient a longer and better life. However, as all cancers eventually become resistant to drugs, continued development is important, and Shokat's discovery provides a platform to build upon. Kevin's discovery provided real light in the tunnel, and it enthused the research community, and it really has paved the way to find new molecules which will target mutant RAS proteins in human cancer. Kevan Shokat is awarded the 2023 Huerberry Prize for discoveries that enable the inhibition of mutated KRAS in cancer treatment. That was a complete shock. I was amazed. <laughs> it was, uh, I've been so excited since uh, yesterday when I got the phone call. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, the kind of way the award is structured is the bulk of it, it's a substantial amount of money uh, for research. So that I think overnight, I'm just trying to process that. That's a really, uh, that's the biggest grant I've ever seen. It uh, comes without, you know, one day it appears. Uh, so it's going to um, make a big difference for, for our research. So I really appreciate how it was put together. The Hueberry Prize is awarded by the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences and financed by the Hueberry Foundation.